Mandatory mini camp starts today, and we're going to have lots of coverage about that. But we got to take a little bit of a detour early this afternoon. <sighs> I tell you what, Detroit Lions fans, our time is coming. We've been at the bottom for so long. We know everything anybody can say against us. We're like B Rabbit off 8 Mile, and the entire league is Papa Doc. But I know something about you, and that is the NFC, the NFC North is ours finally. We have to earn it. We have to take it from the Minnesota Vikings. We have to take it from the Green Bay Packers. We have to take it from the Chicago Bears. We have to do something we haven't done in a long time. And you guys know how I feel about Twitter. I'm on Twitter because I have to be. We are in the age of social media, so you can follow me right there at on that side, Detroit Lions Syndicate on Twitter. And I did something yesterday. Twitter is the kind of place that will make you walk to a ledge and want to contemplate your future, okay? I'm just going to show you a bit of conversation and dialogue that I had with some Minnesota Vikings fans. So check this out. This is from yesterday, okay? And I know that sports can be petty. I am not very particular of Chicago Bears fans, most of them, because they, they are nasty, salty, in my opinion. And I think that for us as Detroit Lions fans, we have been at the bottom for so long that we're quite humble, right? And when we start winning, when we start winning, I don't ever want us to be the fan base that is unbearable like the Minnesota Vikings. This was posted yesterday from the Detroit Lions Twitter. I'm so icy, so icy. This is Jared Goff, our quarterback, blinged out in his teammates' ice. Got Kirby Joseph chain, Tracy Walker added some stuff and others, right? So I commented down here based on Minnesota Vikings fans and their comments saying that we that we copied off of Kirk Cousins when he was in the little jet plane with no shirt on doing all this nonsense, right? Oh, by the way, y'all got beat by the New York Giants, so chill out, right? So I commented, Minnesota Vikings fans are the worst because they're like, oh, copy much? Blah, blah, blah. You copy what? Okay. So now here is where the dialogue begins. And usually I don't entertain this as I hit the wrong transition. But somebody named Manda says, why? Because we're calling out the the BS. And I said to her, no, because y'all can't take L's. She said, right, because we take all the W's. We take all the W's. First of all, <laughs> this she she needed to have this. Got it. Because that was a cornball joke if I ever heard one, all right? So now I said, ah, okay, trying to be civil. She said, uh, they said, all you've ever known is L's. The day he became a Lions fan is when he took L's. There isn't a bigger L than that, says Tay. I mean, not having an NFC North title when they've been in the division since 93 is a pretty big L too. I said, Jesus, y'all are unbearable. Must be unbearable that Tampa has a division title more recently than the Lions. Well, he's an idiot because Tampa is not in the division. Okay? you If, if you're going to say something, say it right. Excuse me. I got out of character there. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I got a little gangster right there. I said, are you finished or are you done? So then here comes this clown. Open your mouth as a Lions fan. Ly- Lions fan. So I said, LOL, that's all you got because somebody said, Oh, where did it go? Where did it go? This person said something, but it's... Hold on, let me see if it pops up here. Oh, the Lions have been choking since they came into the league. Buddy talking about overpay when golf cat pit is $30 million this year because I said to this clown, trust me, I'm choosing not to speak. Not going to stoop to y'all level. I just, just keep that same energy when your overpaid quarterback chokes again this year. And then that's when he said what he said. And I'm like, I'm trying to be civil. Can't they see that? Now, I'm not saying all Minnesota Vikings fans are unbearable, but this is every single fan base. But what I notice is that it's always the teams that do the least that talk the most, the most stuff. Okay, one thing about Lions fans is, okay, Lions fans, we've always been humble. You know why? Because we've always lost. We've always lost. We've never been. We've never won the NFC North, we've never been to a Super Bowl. We know all this stuff. And I don't think we're ever going to become these type of fans. But what gives the Minnesota Vikings 
f- fans any reason to run their mouth. Have they ever won a Super Bowl? I don't think they have. They've been, but they've they've never won. If if I'm not mistaken, you got beat by the New York Giants after you won. You you won nine or some games by one score. Kirk Cousins is all just don't get me started on the Minnesota Vikings. So this is a little out of character for this channel, but still I couldn't resist the start of mandatory minicamp, and I wanted to have a little conversation with you guys about how unbearable Minnesota Viking fans are. Now I have a Minnesota Viking syndicate. He's cool, never gets personal. We're 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 buddies. We talk. We're coworkers, right? And that's how it should be. The how you feel about your team should never bleed over into real real life. This is a game. This is enjoyment. This is entertainment. Never bleed over into real life, okay? But these people on this, I'm telling you, man, Twitter is the worst app I think I've ever been a part of. And I'm only here so I don't get fined. I'm only here because I'm trying to grow the brand, grow the business. But Lord have mercy. These guys ain't done nothing. Ain't done nothing. So you win a division. And and don't get mad because the NFL analyst and everybody else is picking the Lions to win a division. After you just won a division. So that... <sighs> Look, let me let me get up out of here. Let me get up out of here, man, because I'm going to get fined if I don't. Well, we out of time. We are out of time. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Please be respectful. Please, because I know how y'all want to be. Trust me, I wanted to be that way too. But aren't you aren't you going to be happy when we finally get that division win? And and then it's going to be like, oh, oh, you just got, you won one after 30 years. We know all that stuff. And that's that's what makes us awesome, man. What makes Lions fans awesome is what we've endured over the decades that we've been Lions fans. And it's going to make it all that much sweeter when we do win. I'm telling you, man. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions. Not all Minnesota Vikings fans are bad.